And joining us live to talk about this is Kwame Jantua, who is a legal practitioner himself, speaking to us from Accra. Good morning, Barrister Jantua. How are you? I am well. How are you? I'm very well. Now, let's talk about this conversation that is going on between, uh, you know, Nigeria and Ghana. So far, the right uh, kind, kinds of statements are being made from both sides condemning the act. But can you enlighten us as to what is responsible for this whole development? At this particular moment, we are not too sure uh, which side of the story is true. Um, unidentified individuals on uh, Friday around 10.30 p.m. Um, invaded uh, the premises. And um, they were armed men, and really the security there uh, couldn't stop them. Now, what we hear is that it was led by insurance company but we also hear from the owners, the so-called owners of the land, which is the Usu stool. In Ghana, lands are invested and owned by chiefs. Government can compulsory purchase the land for circumstances like this. But the, the, the challenge here is that you know, any land that is being taken over by uh, an embassy is like a Nigerian uh, land, it's like as if you're in Nigeria, which then goes to um, uh, the Convention on Diplomatic Relations. Mm -hmm. It tends to uh, uh, go against it. And so government has come in through the Minister of Foreign Affairs to indicate that they are going to look into it. But the, the, the so-called owners, those who stew, have said that uh, the Nigerian uh, High Commission and the said businessman but trespassers on the land, and that they have asked them to come for negotiations, to come for talks, and they haven't been able to, 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 to ascend to that. Mm -hmm. So but it's, it's now in the hands of the government, yeah. and hopefully we would find a resolution to it soon. All right, Barrister Jantua, this, was, this apparently is a building that housed uh, Nigerian High Commission staff. Now, how was such premises infiltrated without any form of resistance. You did say that, that you know, there were security personnel, or police, if you like, but they were not res there was no resistance at all. How so? Well, well in Ghana, it's not the police who guard the, uh, uh, the, 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 the high commission. Mostly it's private security guards, and private security guards don't hold weapons. And so if... Uh, Unidentified people come in with weapons. Definitely, if I have no weapon, I will surrender. And probably that is what happened. And when you look at the time that they did this, this was 10.30 p.m. at night. And I don't think anybody expected something like that to happen. All right. What would be the line of action in situations such as this, if I may ask you? Well, when you look at the fact that it, it is... It, it, it is, is bordered on international relations. Definitely, government has to come in, and government has come in forcefully from uh, the uh, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs. And currently, government has stationed the police there to guard the place mm -hmm. as they do the investigations as to how this happened. And I think definitely the so-called stool owners of the land, the chiefs, would go into some discussion with government for government to find out exactly who owns the land, because uh, I don't think government has compulsory purchased the land from, from, from what we know. Mm -hmm. um, when you go to the uh, Lands Commission, the land is still in the name of the Usu land, uh, the, the chiefs. So government will, will come to the bottom of it, and I think government is keen to make sure that they, they solve this problem very, very quickly, because I mean, when... nobody wants any uh, rapport that is dissatisfactory. Mm -hmm. Between Ghana and Nigeria. My next and, question. Uh, veteran brothers. Uh, which brings me to my next question. Do you see uh, this causing any sort of diplomatic uh, tension or problem, so to speak? It would have created diplomatic tension if the government who was responsible for this invasion. But since it's private, I hope it will not. And Ghana and Nigeria, we've always had a rapport. So I think that would take precedence 
than anything happening. Mm -hmm. If it so happened that during this particular situation, somebody was killed, Nigerian was killed, then yes, that could have caused some rioting, you know, of Nigerians in, in Ghana, you know, uh, uh, there. But fortunately, nobody was killed, and we hope this thing will be sorted out very quickly. Yeah, I mean, we are grateful that it didn't escalate to that point. But what can be done to ensure this does not happen again? Well, in terms of all lands that foreign uh, embassies have, they have documents that prove where the land came from. Mostly, government will compulsory purchase the land for such, such things. So how this one came about, if it isn't compulsory purchased by government, needs to be sorted out. Mm -hmm. And they should do a quick uh, rendition of all lands that embassies are on to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Thank you so very much, uh, Barista Kwame Jansua, for your time and for your contribution on News on the R. Stay safe out there. Thanks for having me.